Hello, welcome back. And in this particular video, we are going to just see the BioPython. Okay, how to do the installation part and then run a simple example using Jupyter Notebook. So how actually you will install BioPython is nothing but using this particular link. That is nothing but the PIP install BioPython. And I'm going to share this particular link in our description with respect to the video. So what you have to do, you have to simply take the PIP install BioPython, which can be copied from here. And then you have to go in the Jupyter Notebook um, cell. And then you have to just use the same command that is PIP install BioPython and run the cell. Okay, once you do that, you will see that uh, it has start reading and it has successfully installed in my system. And then I'm going to just reset the kernel because it has mentioned over here and I have done that. So once you do that, you will see some of the information with respect to why the BioPython has been used. Okay, you can just read out because I'm going to share in our description. And I have one more link which is showing about the BioPython installation part and then some of the examples with respect to BioPython. So we are going to upgrade, okay, but the BioPython so that you can use uh, up, updated packages with respect to BioPython for your biological data sets, okay? So yeah, uh, it is mentioned that uh, we can include over here in this form, okay? So we can do that or we can just ignore. Now, So now I have done the click on the home page. Okay, once I click on the home page, you will see the bio tutorial, bio Python tutorials, which are available over here. And you have to just click on the next page. And then before that bio Python tutorial, first we have to know the bio Python. Okay, so bio Python is an open source. Um, tool mainly used in the bioinformatics field. So this tutorial walks through the basics of BioPython packages, overview of BioPython with respect to the bioinformatics, sequence, manipulation, plotting of your data, population genetics, clustering analysis, genome analysis, and also connecting with the BioSQL data sets and finally conclude with some examples. So this is how it has been included and you can see here, that is introduction, inst installation has been given, simple application sequences, and then you can also find the BLAST with respect to the BioPython, okay, PDB modules are also included. So we are going to see step-by-step step in every videos with respect to future omics regarding this particular examples, okay? So now we are going to see uh, some basic example with respect to BioPython. So this is the, things you can do. I have done the installation part and then we are going to run a simple example using BioPython. So here it is mentioned that, um, yeah. So, so here we are going to run a simple example with the sequence part like this. So I'm going to click on the sequence or else this one, okay. So the year is nothing but we have to use this. I have copied this and I'm going to paste over here. Okay, from bio.sequence import sequence. Okay, because um, for that, you can also write a command over here after this. Okay, like this import. Bio sequence. Okay. And I'm going to run that. And then from import biosequence, I'm going to call from biosequence import sequence. Okay. So for that, I have to give some sequence so that uh, I can import using BioPython package. 
So I have going to use the next cell. Okay, so this is some of the um, gene sequence. So I'm going to just add one more thing like a G C. Oh, sorry. G C T C C C C and T C A. Okay, anything you can just try. Just look it out that do the sequence get read out. Okay, so just has done. And once you just type this, okay, that is a SCQ, there's nothing but the sequence, okay? And then I'm going to run this. So now you can see that what are the sequence which are there in my particular seek is get call, okay? So using by Python and or else you can also use this command that is known as a print the sequence, okay? So you can do both wise like this, okay? So it has get sequenced the exact data which is there over here, okay? Or else if you just type sequence, so it has get called all the particular data which is there after equals to sign, okay? So this is how a simple installation of BioPython and then the sequence can be called from the command that is from bio.sequence import sequence, okay? This is the thing you can just refer using this link. And then we are going to see some more examples. So this is nothing but using alphabet models. So you have to just go through each and every uh, information, theoretical information, what they have been shared in this particular link. So here they have mentioned that uh, from bio.sequence import sequence, what we have given, but here they have called that it's nothing but this one. Okay. So nothing but you can just paste over here that is a my sequence and equals to sequences num some sequences assigned it's nothing but the dna sequence and then uh, we are going to see that this thing okay again the same thing is done that is my sequences get over here and i'm going to run that okay so now we have mentioned that my sequence alphabet so if i just write type this and run so you will get that it's an alphabets okay so because it's an alphabet sequence which is mentioned over here so here that what they have done they have mentioned something over here that is bio from bio dot sequence import sequence and from bio dot alphabet import single letter alphabets okay which is nothing but over here and the simple examples of over here it is mentioned with respect to bio dot alphabet package so this is, you can just try out with respect to the data sets, okay? So this is a simple examples. We are going to see uh, some more examples using BioPython packages in the future uh, videos with respect to future omics. So stay tuned.